guys, Nikki here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, another first impression review with the Maybelline products this time. You guys, I know na matagal na itong mga products na to, but hindi kasi siya available dito sa aming local place. So, we really have to travel right? like 3 to 4 hours just to buy this product. So, I have here the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless na foundation. And it claims here that this foundation is for normal to oily skin. And this foundation contains a 30 ml. Ayan siya. It comes with a glass na bottle and plastic na cup. So, pag i-open na natin siya, this is one of the downsides sa product na to guys because it doesn't have a pump and it looks very messy. So, pag maglagay ka nito, careful lang para hindi matapon yung foundation. And this retails for 399 pesos. Next, I have here the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This retails for 249 pesos. This is not going to be a first impression dahil meron akong review about this product. So, kung hindi nyo pa napanood, I will leave the link down below. This concealer is in the shade 20 or sand. Ayan siya. This is a very perfect na shade para sa akin. Next, I have here the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless na press powder. I am in the shade 120 or classic ivory. This retails for 399 pesos. The same lang siya with the foundation. And it claims to be matte plus poreless. Actually, lahat ng product na to claims to be matte claims to be poreless and it claims na this product is for normal to oily skin. Now, if you guys are interested about this product, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so both sides, gagamitan ko siya ng moisturizer. I am using my aloe vera na moisturizer. This is what it looks like. And then, for this side, gagamitan ko siya ng mattifier. And on this side, hindi ko siya gagamitan ng mattifier for us to see if may difference na ba if may mattifier and wala or my primer or wala. Okay. So, this is the side na my primer. Ayan. So, I am done with the primer. Okay. Now, let's proceed to the foundation. Okay. So, ito yung isang downside niya, guys. Because it doesn't have a pump. There. Okay. Yan lang. Okay, guys. So, this side, gagamitan ko siya ng beauty blender. Oh my god. Parang sobrang light niya, no? Pero let's see mamaya pag na-blend na. Again, this side, gagamitan ko siya ng Beauty Blender. OMG. This is way too light. And by the way, guys, basa ang sponge na ginamit ko. Alright guys, so this is the side with the foundation and with the beauty blender. I love the finish because it looks very natural on my skin. It looks flawless. And yung finish niya guys, is may pag powdery yung finish niya. Although may dewy dewy na effect dito, but in person talaga pag hinahawakan mo siya, it feels very powdery. It, or it feels powdery to me. Okay, ayan siya. Now let's see if the product is buildable. mag add tayo ng konting amount Oh my God, see that? Ito ang mahirap sa walang pump, guys. Dahil hindi mo talaga siya makokontrol. Okay, so mag-add tayo ng konti. Yan lang. Okay, so ayan na siya nung binild up ko yung foundation. And I can say na mas nag-add talaga siya ng coverage. And it doesn't look cakey. Still, it looks flawless and natural. Pero ito nga lang, nakikita pa rin yung um, pimple ko dito. Which is very okay for me guys because I am not into mga full na foundation. As much as I can, gumagamit ako ng mga light na foundation lang. Mas gusto ko na nakikita pa rin yung mga imperfection ko kasi mas lalo siyang nagiging natural. And for my pores, I can still see my pores in here guys. I can tell na na-minimize na yung pores ko kasi visible pa rin yung pores ko. Ayan. Now, let's proceed on this side. Okay, so on this side, I will be using my um, flat brush from the bamboo brush set. Let's see if okay nga ba na brush yung gamitin. I am not into brush, guys. Now, when it comes to applying my foundation, mas gusto ko talaga na beauty blend kasi mas flawless. Okay. 
Okay guys, so ayan na siya, na-blend ko na siyang nang maayos. And I can say na wala naman ako nakikita ang mga streaks from the brush. And still, it looks flawless. It looks natural and it feels powdery pa rin. So yeah, wala namang diferensya. Now, let's add another layer dito sa brush ang ginamit natin. Alright guys, so I am done with the both side with the beauty blender and with the brush. As you can tell guys, the same lang yung result niya. With a blender and with a brush, it feels powdery, it looks natural. So ayan, so far gustong gusto ko yung foundation, it looks natural on my face. So now let's proceed into the concealer. For the concealer, gagamitin ko tong Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Nagawan ko na to siya ng review. Kung hindi niyo pa napanood, I will put the link down below. Okay, mag-add lang tayo ng very, very slight lang. Kasi guys, normally, pag mga ganitong foundation, na contento na talaga ako sa coverage niya. Hindi na ako nagagamit ng concealer. Now, I'll be using my beauty blender to blend my concealer. Now guys, I am done with the concealer. I can tell na mas lalong nag-add siya ng coverage nung in-apply ko yung concealer. And now, it looks very flawless na talaga on my face. It looks uh, very natural. Still, I can see here the pimple mark, but that's okay for me, guys. Like, wala akong issue na kina nakikita pa yung pimple mark ko because yun nga sinabi ko kanina, as much as I can, mas gusto ko na natural pa rin yung look niya, even though gumamit tayo ng foundation. Now, let's proceed into the powder. Okay, so this is what the uh, powder looks like. I am in the shade 120 or Classic Ivory. I know that this is way too light to my face, guys. But, dahil kasi sa nakikita kong mga review about this product na nag-oxidize siya, so yun sinigurado ko na kumuha ko ng lighter shade than my skin tone. To set, gagamitin ko tong brush na to. This is from um, the Color Workshop. Okay. So, kita tap tap ko lang siya. Oh, wait. May mirror. In fairness, ha, I really love the powder, guys. Alright, guys. So, I am done with the powder. I can tell na mas lalo niyang namatify yung aking face ngayon. It looks very flat yung pagkamat niya. But that's okay because gagamit tayo ng highlighter mamaya. And yeah, for me, okay na okay to sakit to ganitong result because yun nga, I am very, very oily guys. And yeah, I love using matte na mga products. So yeah, I guess this will work for me. So guys, tatapusin ko lang aking look and after that, I will be right back. Hi guys! I am back. So, I am done with my face. Naglagay lang ako ng blush, contour, lipstick, mascara, yun lang. Dahil andito lang naman ako sa bahay. Wala akong lakad today. So, looking on my mirror, I can tell guys na ang ganda niya in person. I love the look na very much siya on my face. Matte na hindi siya sobrang flat na tingnan in person. I love it guys. You guys, look at that. Tingnan nyo naman yan. And sa pores na sinasabi niya, I can say na it really minimizes my pores. Ayan yung mga pores ko dyan guys. Malalaki yung pores ko especially in this part in here. But it minimizes my pores guys. And by the way, hindi ako gumamit ng highlighter. Dahil for me, kung gagamit pa ako ng highlighter, baka maging oily na naman siya. And I am very contented sa ganitong klase na pagkamat niya sa face ko. Okay, by the way guys, time check now. It is now uh, 9.15 ng umaga. Ayan, pahirapan ito. Ayan, 9.50 na siya ng umaga. So, I will give you an update mamaya if ganito pa rin ba ang magiging itsura niya for the day, for the rest of the day. Okay? So, andito lang naman ako sa bahay. Wala akong lakad today. So, yes, babalik ako mamaya for my update. Hi guys, I am back for an update. So, time check muna. Mag-11 na ng umaga. So, almost 2 hours na since na-wear ko na yung foundation. So, may, na may napansin lang ako dito guys, especially sa gilid ng aking nose. May mga foundation na nagsettle dito. Like, very, very light lang naman. Very minimal lang naman. So far, everything is good. 
so far hindi ako na produce ng a lot of oil I love the doingness na, na nangyayari dito and by the way guys we are under natural lighting ha so ganito yung itsura niya under, under natural lighting so I really love it so far everything is good I hope na hanggang mamaya okay pa rin siya so yeah I will be back for another update bye hello people I am back for my last and final update yes this is going to be my last and final update na guys so it is now 5 10 in the afternoon or 5 9 in the afternoon na. So it's been 8 hours and a half na suot-suot ko tong foundation na to. And okay, so hindi ako magbabase sa camera guys because hindi niya nakaka-capture talaga yung totoong nangyayari talaga sa aking pagmumukha, di ba? Kasi cellphone lang yung gamit ko. Ibabase ko kayo in person. Okay, so tinitingnan ko siya ngayon sa aking mirror. Meron lang akong napansin dito guys, especially on my laugh line. Yan, may nagsettle dito sa akin na foundation and same here. Dito naman sa aking mga fine lines wala naman and may worry lines wala dito lang talaga sa aking laugh line may nagsettle diyan. Yan yung unang-una kong napansin. And then may napansin din ako sa foundation na to guys. It really oxidizes into my face. Buti na lang sobrang light ng shade na kinuha ko. Guys, I have a suggestion to you. If kukuha kayo ng foundation na to, chose uh, two shades or even three shades lighter than your skin tone. Para at least kung mag-oxidize siya, see that okay na siya. Kanina maputi yung mukha ko, pero ngayon parang nagmatch na siya sa aking skin. And looking on my mirror talaga, um, yung doingness niya, it looks natural lang. Kung tinitingnan ko siya sa aking uh, cellphone, parang siyang oily, pero in person, it looks very natural. So, so, itry natin mag-vlot. Itong pag oil na to guys, tolerable pa to sa akin, okay? Pero sige, itry din natin mag -vlot. Kung gaano karaming oil ang ating makukuha. Actually, hindi to oil lahat na nakukuha ko. May pawis din ako nakukuha ako. Is ayan. See? Not bad, diba? For 8 hours and I have nasuot-suot ko siya. And to think na mainit ngayon dito sa amin. Although wala naman akong ginawa na masyadong nakakapawis. Pero mainit dito sa amin, guys. So, ayan. After I blot, okay naman siya. Ayan. It feels good. Okay, let's try na mag-retouch. Try natin na mag-retouch, guys. By the way, guys, nakalimutan ko. Yung powder nga pala, it comes with a mirror, ha? Ayan. Meron siyang mirror dyan sa ilalim, and then it comes with a sponge na rin, pero hindi ko to nagagamit talaga masyado, mas gusto ko na brush yung ginagamit ko na pang set okay, so mag retouch tayo, balik fresh fresh yan lang, okay, so tapos ko na siyang iset, now let's get into the claim sa product na to, it claims to be natural, poreless looking finish okay, for the for the natural, yes, it is very natural looking lang talaga. Poreless, no, I would say na no. But, it minimizes my pores really. Ayan siya guys. And, long lasting shine control, I would say na yes. Dahil okay yung oil control niya sa akin. So, yeah, for the foundation, um, yun lang, a suggestion lang. Pili kayo ng um, three shades. Two or three shades lighter than your skin tone. For the concealer, wala ako masasabing masama sa concealer. This is one of my favorite na concealer. And for the powder, I highly, highly recommend it. Sobrang ganda niya. Nakakatulong siya mag-add ng coverage. And nakakatulong siya na ma-minimize yung pores. So, yes, yun lang naman sa video na to guys. I hope na nakatulong tong video na to. Thank you so much guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye!